In today's video, I'm going to show you five combos using a butterfly. It's one of my go-to moves, so I really hope you like it. As always, make sure you have been safely taught how to do these moves before giving them a go. Aerial invert, to a butterfly, to a superman, to a star, into a floor jade with a shoulder roll on the end. Make sure you do your butterfly really high up the pole so that you have enough height to drop down into the superman. As you can imagine, it's really important not to kick the pole because if you do, you're gonna feel that one. Really think about circling that top leg back behind the pole as much as possible just so you don't come near the pole. Your superman will be really, really low down to the floor and then your star will be even lower than that. I like to take both hands down to the floor and squeeze my legs on as if I'm going to do a thigh hold before then dropping onto my shoulders to do a little floor jade. And of course it's really important to get a nice angle for this one. And a nice exit is to come into any shoulder roll that you like. Apprentice, to a butterfly, to a Russian butterfly, into a mantis, into a flatline Scorpio. As I lift into the apprentice and then the butterfly, I tried to come a little bit higher than I usually would so that when I come into the Russian butterfly, I have plenty of space to slide the bottom hand down nice and low. After the butterfly, I come back into a position similar to the apprentice just so I can re-grip that top hand for the Russian butterfly. This one will probably spin around a little bit, but it's quite nice to get different angles on it. The transition to the mantis can be a little bit scary, so you want to make sure you keep all of the weight in your arms and the bent leg that's already hooked on the pole, and really, really gently bring your free leg forward as your hips come towards the pole. As long as both feet keep pulling down towards your butt, you should hopefully be able to take your hands off for the mantis. We're going to take the opposite hand to the hand that was down low in the butterfly, down low this time to come into the flatline Scorpio. So your flatline Scorpio actually ends up on the other side to the side that you started your butterfly on. You want the same side hand as the calf that's touching the pole, so the back leg to come down nice and low and push your chest up. And then you should hopefully just be able to unhook the outside leg to come into a flatline Scorpio. I like to lower down from this flatline Scorpio and land on my knees as I'm already really close to the floor so it's quite an easy exit. Butterfly, to a floating butterfly, to a bow and arrow pose, to a twisted grip Aisha, into a climb over. For this combo, I like to hook the outside leg before going into the butterfly, just to make it slightly different, and then it makes the floating butterfly easier as you take the back leg behind the pole and to the side of the bent leg. The bottom hand should hopefully not have any weight in it, so you should be able to take that hand off quite easily and hold this cheeky little pose. As you come into the bow and arrow type pose, you want to take both hands back on the pole like you're going to invert, and then sickle the straight foot the opposite side of the pole that it just was. So the inside of this foot is coming onto the pole. The more you tip your body out to the side as you take your outside hand off the pole, the easier it's going to be to hold on with that sickled foot and the top hand before fully coming into the bow and arrow type pose. The top hand is already set up to go into the twisted grip Aisha. 
So as long as you have enough space to be able to take that bottom hand with the fingers pointing down low on the pole and push, you should hopefully be able to turn your chest to the pole and look up to the ceiling and take both legs off for the Aisha. Just to finish off this combo in a nice way other than coming down to the floor, I like to hook the opposite leg to the top hand. You can hook either leg, but this one's quite a nice exit. Once the leg's hooked, you should then be able to take both hands above this top knee and pull your body up. And for now, I'm going to finish the combo here, but of course, if you want to add on, then there's plenty more you can do from that position. Cartwheel to a butterfly, into a shoulder mount straddle, into a climb over with a little figurehead, into a straddle to a seat. Even though you only really do part of a cartwheel, you still want to move your legs like a cartwheel before hooking into your butterfly, just to make this a really cool entry. Pull into the same side shoulder as your bottom hand and then you should be able to take this bottom hand into a cup grip before moving your hips away for your shoulder mount straddle. I do have my top hand in a thumb up grip and my bottom hand in a cup grip so it might not be the grip that you're used to for a shoulder mount. Lift your hips up nice and high as you hook the same knee as the top arm on the pole and you can take the bottom arm low to help you lift your torso and push. If you want to spin in your figurehead, as you take both hands above the top knee, try to wrap your wrist and pull in as you lift your chest, and hopefully that will give you a little spin before you come into your figurehead. I take both hands on the pole as if I'm going to invert, but my outside arm is a little bit higher than usual. If you kick the outside leg up towards the top arm, you should be able to open both legs up into a nice little straddle, and you can spin this straddle as well. The more I kick forward with the outside leg, the more spin I have. From there, you can look down and bring your back leg around the other side of the pole to come into your seat before finishing this little combo. Flatline Scorpio, to a butterfly, to an extended butterfly, into a sneaky V, to a genie, into a seat. As you come into your flatline Scorpio, make sure you lift your body a few inches just to give you enough height for the rest of the combo. Your outside hand comes thumb up behind the inside knee and you're going to pull as you bring the outside leg forward and switch this leg onto the pole for your butterfly. Now it's up to you how much skin contact you want on the thighs before you switch the legs over. If you're happy in an Aisha, you can take both legs off but if not, you might want to keep the feet or the ankle on the pole for as long as possible. Hopefully the transition from the butterfly to the extended butterfly feels easy, and that position should then give you enough space to be able to take your back foot through the gap between your arms to then hook the knee on the pole. Your outside leg can kick over your outside shoulder, followed by the inside leg kicking over the inside shoulder to hold your sneaky V. You can then hook both legs back on the pole for your genie, and I like to hook my bottom leg first before lifting my top leg that little bit higher. Your genie is hopefully one of the go-to moves, so hopefully that one feels super strong. Both hands can then come above the top knee and you can pull. You should be able to release both legs from the pole as long as you're pulling up enough with the arms, and if you kick your outside leg forward, you can do a small spin before coming into a seat to finish. If you want to spin for longer, of course kick that outside leg more enthusiastically and then your seat will be lower to the floor. But as always, if you want to add on, then this is a nice position to add on from. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I've got another little butterfly video for you here. Bye.